Welcome back everyone to another Lego Mystery Minifigure blind bag opening. In today's video, I've got 40 or 50 of uh, Lego Mystery Minifigures right here. These are from ExtraMinifigures.com. Uh, be sure to use code LIFEBRICK over on his website to save 10% off. He does a lot of blind bags, also sells a lot of official figures, a few custom figures, uh, a few decals, a few custom sets, and uh, all that sort of stuff, guys. So definitely go check him out, give him a, a little bit of a sale, you know, and, and use my discount code if you want. It helps out the channel. But yeah, guys, let's get into it. But these were all, I believe, $3.50 uh, blind bags right here. So every single blind bag was $3.50. Like I said, there's like 45 of them here. So let's get right into it, guys. It's going to be probably a long video. All right, guys, I'll do my best to make this as enjoyable as possible, but it might be kind of a long video. First off, guys, we have this girl right here. Pretty cool. Not too sure where she's from. All right, next off, guys, we have uh, Little Mermaid, I believe. Uh, that's pretty cool. I believe she's actually worth quite a lot of money. I don't think I have her either, so I might actually keep her from a Disney Series 1 right here. Very cool. Moving on to the next one, guys. Looks like we have a uh, Emmett right here. So uh, we got the $100,000 Emmett. Always fun to get. So, uh, yeah, there's him. Next up, guys, let's see what we got. Looks like we have a Thor right here, I believe from Age of Ultron, I think that is from, with uh, the hammer and everything. So, uh, very cool, definitely worth three bucks. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right, guys, and this one looks like we have uh, Mickey Mouse from the original Disney uh, series minifigure uh, set as well. That's very cool. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I have him either. So, uh, yeah, very happy to get him. Moving on to this one, guys, looks like we have a Frozone from the Disney series 2 minifigures so uh yeah very cool got a whole bunch of them though already so uh not worth that much at all and uh not my favorite but uh, nonetheless very cool at least he is a licensed uh minifigure moving on to the next one guys looks like we have a little galaxy squad uh alien right here pretty cool always like these guys i think they look pretty realistic and pretty cool so yeah there's him Next up, guys, we have a little bikini girl right here. She's got a little bikini top on, some awesome dual molded legs I don't have in that color, so that's pretty cool. Might actually keep this uh, minifigure and just part her out just to get those legs, but I'm not too sure where she's from, but very cool to get her. All right, guys, next up, looks like we have a Lloyd right here. Pretty uh, weird-looking Lloyd. Definitely looks like he's uh, going homeless there or a drug addict, but uh, we got Lloyd nonetheless. Moving on, guys, to the next one. Let's see who we get out of this one. Looks like we have another Ninjago character. Looks like one of those like little ice stone warrior guys. Not too sure if he's an actual named character or just like a little drone or a little army builder guy, but we got him nonetheless. Next up, guys, looks like we have another Ninjago character. We got one of the shark guys from, I believe, the Ninjago movie. So not worth all that much, but at least, again, another licensed character. Moving on to the next one, guys. Let's see. I believe this is probably like the 15th one. We have a uh, arm-printed Spider-Man. So not too bad, at least. I mean, at least he is arm-printed. So I don't think he's worth a dollar. It might be worth like a dollar fifty. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. I don't think I've ever had an uh, arm-printed Spider-Man. So yeah, there we go. All right, guys. Let's move on to the next one. Looks like we have a uh, Royal Soldier right here from uh, the Britain, uh, British stuff or whatever. Uh, you know, from Great Britain. Uh, for the queen or over there or whatever but uh, yeah pretty cool not too sure how much this guy's worth but uh probably more than three bucks moving on to the next one guys let's see what we get looks like we have uh man we got this uh, aladdin right i think he's aladdin from uh, the original disney uh series minifigure set as well so i figured i'd do all 50 of these and i know if i edit this down and uh you know cut these up pretty well this will probably only be like an eight minute video anyway so i just figured i'd do all these i mean i've got a lot of other mystery bags too from uh, Tabletop Bricks from CAC. So uh, I don't really want to do these, uh, you know, all, all that much. I don't want to spam my channel with them, so I just figured I'd do all of them. But it looks like we have a, a little Crocodile Chima guy right here, which I'll keep for the personal collection. Very cool. So yeah, that's why I figured I, I'd uh, just do all these at once. Just knock it all out. I mean, like I said, probably do like a 10 minute video and the call it a day. Looks like we have a knight right here from uh, possibly Kingdoms right there. So yeah, there we go. Next one, guys, this is a very big uh, package right here. Let's see who it is. Oh, actually, it's a, uh, the Centaur, I believe, from uh, the new uh, Series 21, I think, or it's a Series 20. So that's pretty cool. All unassembled and everything. So, uh, yeah, there's him, or there's her. I'll assemble her, and i get on to the next one. Moving on to the next one, guys. Let's see who we get this time. Looks like we have a little uh, chef right there, a little dirty chef from uh, something, maybe a town set or a city set. Who we got? This one? Ooh, wow, this is very cool, actually. Damn, I was not expecting this. Look who we got, guys. We have... Uh, Falcon right here from uh, Civil War. So this is actually the one Falcon I do not have. He goes for, I think, like 10 bucks, I want to say, ever since the TV show. 
And uh, yeah, very happy I got him. I've wanted this guy. He's been on my Bricklink wander list. So uh, yeah, here we go, guys. But yeah, it looks like we're about halfway done right here. So let's just uh, keep on rolling, see who we get. And like I said, most of these will be going on my Bricklink store after. So if you guys see anything out of here that you guys like, be sure to check out my Bricklink store. And I'll probably be on there. Looks like we have a Wonder Woman. Pretty cool. Like I said, another licensed character. Can't complain. See, that's usually what I do with most of these. Uh, usually uh, I sell every bit of like maybe two thirds, if not like three fourths of these. And there's a few of them I do like keeping. Uh, looks like we have a Kai right here. Pretty cool looking Kai. Some pearl gold on the torso. Then moving on to the next one, guys. Let's see who we get. Looks like we've got uh, Scrooge McDuck right here from... Uh, the uh, new Disney Series 2 right here. A lot of him also in the collection already or on the Bricklink store. So not worth all that much, but uh, I guess I can't really complain. Moving on to the next one, guys. Let's see who I got. Looks like we have a little Dino Tracker girl from the uh, 2010 Dino uh, theme right there. Very cool uh, dual molded arms right there and legs. That's pretty cool. All right, guys, let's move on to this one. Looks like we have a Two-Face right here. That's pretty damn cool. I've never seen him in person, so uh, he's pretty cool. I believe he's from the comics, though. I don't think he... Well, he's definitely not the uh, the Dark Knight one uh, you know, from the movies, but uh, yeah, comic version of Two-Face. Pretty damn cool. So I'm hoping for maybe one Star Wars minifigure out of all this. That'd be pretty cool. It wasn't a Star Wars uh, you know, themed blind bag, but maybe a Star Wars character. He's like we got a little Season 1 Lloyd right there. Very small and cute. Very awesome. Let's move on to the next one. All right, guys, let's see what we get out of this one. Looks like we have a little friends girl. Not, not too sure uh, who that is. Could be Andrea. Could be Mia. Could be Olivia. Who knows? But uh, probably only worth a buck or two. Let's move on to this one right here and see who we get. Looks like we have a little rock star guy from, I think, Series 5, right? Isn't he all the way from Series 5, I think? I think so. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, guys, we still have, like, 15 right there, maybe even 20. So, yeah, let's just uh, keep rolling, guys, and uh, get through these and see what other awesome minifigures we get. So, out of this one, looks like we have another uh, one from the Disney Series 2. We got a Chip or Dale, not too sure. I'll probably part this one out. These legs go for, like, two bucks as is. So, that's pretty cool to get. Let's see if it's something cool. Uh, ooh, we actually have... Oh, no, that's the new Minnie Mouse from uh, the new... Uh, Disney series too. So you got nothing too crazy. You got a whole bunch of her. So uh, yeah, nothing too special. All right, guys, let's move on to the next one. Anything crazy? Looks like we have a Harry Potter. I've never seen this one before. It looks like one from maybe like 2007 though. So not too sure where he's from. Uh, maybe a rare Harry Potter. Who knows? Might be worth a lot. Hopefully he is. But uh, yeah, there we go. All right, guys, let's move on to the next one. Looks like we have a Henry uh, something from uh, Indiana Jones, I think. Uh, very cool. I love that head. And, uh, you know, just the overall minifigures, not too bad. You know, all these are pretty universal parts, so very happy to get them. And that's one thing about extra minifigures, guys. All of the minifigures he sends out, perfect condition. There's nothing ever wrong with them. Uh, you know, some of them do come with accessories, as you can see. So I definitely cannot complain. Looks like we have Frozone here. Speaking, with, speaking of accessories, we have the Frozone with his little two accessories right there. So that's pretty cool. But uh, first double of it, uh, not too exciting, especially on a kind of a boring character like that. But again, I can't really complain. At least it's a licensed minifigure. Uh, looks like we have something huge in here. It could be a, a Ninjago snake, or it could be what it looks like. Oh, no. Wow. Wow. This is very cool. I've never had her, I think. This is also from Disney Series 1. We have, I believe that is... I'm not even going to take a guess. I don't. I have no... Ursula? Ursa? Ursula, I think. One of the other two. Or one of the two. Uh, right there. I don't have her, though, so that's pretty cool. And definitely probably worth uh, quite a little bit of money. Then we've got, out of this one, looks like we have a little Nexo Knight guy with a actual sword in here, too. A little uh, lance or something like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, we have a little Nexo Knight. I believe that's a girl, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Like I said, Nexo Knight is kind of underrated. I really do like that minifigure. That's pretty damn badass, actually. So, yeah, pretty cool. I realized I did just say pretty cool like 30 times right there, so I apologize for that. Like I said, it's already getting pretty late. This is already up to uh, 15 minutes of actual film time. So uh, getting pretty hot underneath these lights. Looks like we have a Poison Ivy right here. Very nice. All right, guys, we're down to the last 10 right here. So let's uh, make these last 10 count. It looks like right here we have a uh, Sylvester the Cat, I believe, from uh, Looney Tunes. Uh, so that's a, that's a nice new minifigure and definitely worth the money. Still hoping for at least one Star Wars minifigure. That'd be pretty cool. Looks like we have the other little chipmunk here. So we got Chip and Dale. Not too sure which one is uh, which but right here. But uh, yeah, nonetheless, pretty cool. Let's so for a uh, Chrome Darth Vader in here, right? Uh, looks like we have a Mickey Mouse from the uh, the Disney uh, Series 2 right here. 
another one that's not worth all that much money and i've got a lot of them but he will sell and uh, sell pretty quickly at least so there is that uh can't complain down to the last seven guys let's see who we get looks like we have a little mummy or egyptian guy right there pretty damn cool a lot of universal parts then moving on to this one guys let's see who we get looks like we have uh bugs bunny actually wow another looney tunes already uh in these blind bags so yeah that's worth every bit of five bucks right there let's move on to this one guys another big package maybe another uh ursa or ursula hopefully not hades from the uh series two uh disney that would not be fun and what are the odds it is Hercu or hades from uh series two so uh the only thing i really like about this minifigure are those arms are pretty universal uh, I've got a whole bunch of her in my BrickLink store, not really selling through too many of her. But uh, yeah, I guess it's all right. All right, guys, the final four. Wish me some good luck. Let's see who we get. All smaller packages, so at least we're not getting no uh, Hades anymore. Looks like we have the Series 10 Paintballers. So very coincidental. I actually just put one of these guys in my BrickLink store yesterday uh, since I got all the new sealed ones, you guys know. So I'm selling all my old... Uh, you know, quote unquote, used copies of them. So I already put one on my Brickling store. He has not sold yet, but I think he's worth like six bucks. So that's definitely pretty cool to get. Uh, third to last one right here. Looks like we have another knight. I'm not too sure where these guys are from. Let's see. Can you guys tell me down below? Are these guys the same? Yeah, they are. So I wonder where these are from. I wonder if they're anything special. They're not fantasy era. And they look like, you know, the prints are definitely more updated. So maybe from Kingdoms or maybe from the, the blacksmith shop. Are they really from that? I doubt it, but they could be. Uh, second to last one guys let's see what we get oh shit we have venomized iron man damn that's a good surprise right there i might actually keep him for myself i think this guy's worth every bit of like seven eight bucks right unless he went down in value damn that's pretty cool right there i'm not gonna lie let's move on to the last one guys nice and uh thick right here let's see who it is and uh looks like we have tweety bird that's not too bad that's not too bad i'm not gonna like that's only a five dollar minifigure right there so uh yeah i can't complain guys so there is a look at Tweety Bird. Very cool. He's got his huge sledge hammer right here. Very awesome. So uh, yeah, guys, that is all of them. I'm going to be sure to go through all these and just kind of press them down, make sure there's not anything I'm missing out in them uh, over there. But uh, yeah, that's like 45 or uh, you know 50 minifigures. There's a nice little overlook of them all. I'll leave a comment down below how you guys like this black background. I think it really did showcase the minifigures more. I definitely like this. I'm definitely going to start doing a few more uh, videos with this black background for now. But yeah, guys, there's everything. ExtraMinifigures.com. Use code LIFEBRICK. Save 10% off. Definitely pick up a few of these. These were incredible. I mean, there's probably only maybe five minifigures out here you know worth less than like the three dollars i paid for them so yeah thank you guys all for watching please like comment and subscribe stay tuned for see you guys later bye guys stay safe